travels with John Stevenson. Well, as you can see, it's a little slow going down the expressway hill, the cut in the hill, as they say. But I just wanted to have the great view of greater Cincinnati and northern Kentucky. Beautiful view. All the people doing different works. Little soldiers for the Lord in all these different places. And people being productive as citizens. And of course we always have some out there that are unproductive. And doing oh, evil things as we say. But Lord, you're watching over all of us. And we pray for all to be doing the good things of life. Like mom said, give a lift. Give a lift. Just like this truck driver's hauling all this cargo. Looks like cable up there ahead of us. And uh, from Mississippi. And uh, freight systems all over the country. Taking play things to different places. And as you can see in the skyline over there, the great crown on that uh, tallest building now in Cincinnati. And that crown, the last piece of steel that you can see shining up there, was there, put there by Keith, or by Ken Diamond. And his twin brother Keith was probably praying for him. <laughs> but anyway, as an iron worker, he did that. Got his initials on the last piece set up, put up there. So, praise the Lord for all those skills in the Guyman family. Great home builders. Great stonemasons all across northern Kentucky. And our little nephew Eric down there doing some new uh, architectural work on rehabbing uh, and uh, protecting uh, the environment and doing a good job at it. And of course, uh, all of the other members of the Guyman family, Andy Guyman up north and Andy Guyman down south. and. He had uh, working with uh, uh, great organizations to produce good buildings. And, and our uh, Chuck Love with Microsoft and Brett DiMuzio with uh, his great skills and talents and, and computers and, and uh, all types of techniques. Uh, we got family working all over, doing a great job. Of course, Keith, Ken's brother, spending a life over there at uh, Cincinnati G&E or uh, Gas and Electric Company or Duke as it's known now I guess I suppose and of course uh, the, the other two boys Tim and Jim in the field of uh, furniture supplying and outfitting all these office buildings that you see with office equipment and office furniture doing a great job with Philip Bell and and at Guyman Furniture Gallery. And uh, Tim and Jim spent a lifetime in the furniture business and now doing other things to help uh, the citizens of Northern Kentucky. And of course the girls, Kathy Emerson and her husband Jim Emerson, great workers and technicians and uh, doing great work for City of Ohio and Cincinnati, Ohio, and up, up, up in Ohio. And uh, then you had Heidi and Dave Thien, another uh, a Duke Energy person, and Heidi uh, working with Timmy in the furniture business and, and uh, many other positions, both talented people. And of course, uh, Keith and Jenny, Jenny being a nurse uh, most all of her life and doing a great job, now in the process of retiring and uh, so she can do a little traveling with Keith, who's retired but still working. And um, then you have, uh, of course, Jim Guyman and Rosie. Rosie, 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 bless her heart. She is active in everything political and is active in everything uh, in the church and singing and, and praising the Lord. We just love her to pieces. And, of course, Jim, uh, working and just retired from furniture company that he worked for before that with Philip Bell for many many years. He had a great job in the furniture business all over the tri-state area and several other states working as a representative of a company. And um, that takes care of those folks and I think I got them all now. Help me if I didn't, Lord. Let's see. 
let's see, we got Cass and Heidi, and of course Sylvia. Now, you can't forget Sylvia. She was a nurse also, and one of the, the great contributors to the Christian faith, doing a fabulous job, and her husband Lonnie, uh, working with the University of Cincinnati for many, many years, and the city of Cincinnati, and doing a great job, a great teacher, professor, and uh, very skilled human being. And Sylvia being dynamic, and she is, both as a nurse and uh, and um, and as a educator, and has been a great asset for the people of uh, Ohio and Kentucky, her home county, home state. So I think that takes care of everybody that I can think of. Joanne, of course, who's gone on to heaven, was a great contributor, and Joe B, who's always been a great contributor also in that same furniture line of things with Tim and Jim. And he was a salesman above all salesmen. He was nice, honest, and forth. Just couldn't be find a better person to buy a, a piece of furniture from with the truth and the objectivity for the use of the object. He just, it was and still is a great person. Joe B. Bradhole. And of course, Donna, his uh, wife now, and after Joanne has passed away, and a wonderful lady, and and uh, a great friend to all the family, and very talented, as I might say. So it's great to be a part of that, and coming driving down through here and talking about the family, June's family, and, and all of them. And of course, I had to say a little bit about Barbara Brander Stevenson, my oldest sister, school teacher for about 40 years, art teacher, and a fourth grade teacher in the choir for about 30 years with St. Henry's Church, great Christian lady. And her husband Jay, a World War II veteran, was on a USS Swanee and uh, the first ship I hit by two kamikazes in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. We miss him greatly, lived to be in his 90s. We miss him greatly, he was a great brother-in-law. Couldn't have a better brother-in-law, as a matter of fact. And so thrilled with that. And then, of course, uh, Mayor Ruth Robinson, uh, her husband, Jackie Robinson, has gone on to heaven. And I tried to get Mayor Ruth to be able to ride up with me today on the trip to see Miss Judy. But she was probably tied up with uh, either an arm injury or working at Walmart, which she still does. So uh, we'll catch her the next time. She's one of the great singers with the Robinson family singers. And they still do some traveling around all over the country and sing, and they also sing at their church, uh, down at the uh, English Church, I think it's called, in Carrollton, Kentucky. And uh, uh, they have a great service down there, and just a really wonderful service on television. And uh, so that's Mayor Ruth and Mark Robinson and Sharon Robinson, and of course their children now. Uh, while they used to travel all over the world singing, at least Mexico and Canada and the United States, probably to every state, doing a great job singing all the various truck stops and fairs and things. And at one time had four or five Greyhound buses and two semi-tractor trailers on the road. But uh, the children now are into other things. Two of them, I think, are teaching. And Rebecca is, uh, I think, um, a nurse. And then uh, I think uh, uh, Julie is... Uh, and Susanna, the two twins, are, uh, I think, working basically, uh, I believe uh, Julie is teaching, and Susanna, I believe, is working in the education system somewhere. And, uh, of course, Rebecca is a nurse, her and Bill are working. I think Bill still works at Walmart. And um, some of the kids work at Walmart, I think, too, in management and different positions. And I was down there and filmed the wedding of John and uh, his lovely wife, and I think they both had worked at Walmart. So um, it's a growing family, spreading out all over. And then, of course, you have uh, Gerald, my brother, who just passed away, and Dorothy uh, uh, Chandler Stevenson passed away within three weeks of each other. Gerald passed away three weeks after Dorothy this past December. And unfortunately, I was in the hospital with the virus, and June had the virus too, so we missed the funeral. And uh, so that was a shame, but it's part of life. As you can see, the city now passing by. 
we begin here to the double fine zone so you got to watch your speed here watch what you're doing so they're working on this bridge and doing a great job but uh, that's the story and then going up to see little Judy Lynn and uh, uh, she was of course injured severely critically in uh, an accident where the one of the city's police up there uh, was chasing somebody and was doing the drug thing in that scene and they ran into Judy's car the druggies did and broke a bunch of her bones and her body and she lost a sight in one eye and, and has had terrible consequences for the last three years since that happened. Well we're watching the work across the bridge here this is quite an amazing thing here now seeing the people working here on this bridge, Prince Spence Bridge across the Ohio River it's a great thrill to get it to uh, rehab like they're doing, and they're doing a great job. But I gotta watch where I'm going here so I get to my turnoffs properly. And uh, so uh, we'll have to see here where the best way is for us to go. 71 North Columbus exit only. Okay. Now let's see, what do we need to do here? Quite a sight, that building I was telling you about that Kenny was on top of and Ken Guyman and put that last piece of steel in there. Well, this is quite of an experience here, I'd have to say. And uh, little Judy taught uh, elementary school and uh, until the accident occurred. And she also has worked hand in glove with her husband, Don Felty, with Felty Associates, the financial consultants. And they've done a beautiful job for a lot of other people. And that's, she's been able to continue helping him as, as much as possible and they've been a team and that's important and they've done a great job and uh, even though she was in rehab for about a year and a half she still uh, as you can be able to see eventually here doing fairly well with all of the health problems she's had to face because of the accident so God bless you folks we'll, we'll step down now and and uh, go on to uh, life in the big city. <laughs> As you can see, we're headed up uh, 71 here, looking for 275 to go across to 747.
course, we don't want to forget uh, John and June Diamond Stevenson, too. All of our children. Guido, bless his heart. Guy, Alexandra, Connect, Stevenson, and Miss Amy, and uh, Miss Tegan, little Zara, and uh, Zaria, I think it is. And then, uh, of course, uh, Michelle, and Samantha, and little Lincoln, Lake, their family, Charlie, and of course uh, Holly and Bill Johnson and and uh, Dalton and Peyton Johnson and uh, the. Uh, Pamela and Bo, Arch and Bo, and Ike, and Cody, all their family. Love that Miss Arch and Bo works at the library still, and Archie, politics for life. Bless his heart, great farmer, great man. We miss him. Miss Arch and Bo still helping out the library in Boone County, Kentucky. Great citizens. Miss June, the smartest move I ever made. Michelle and, and uh, Foss and Jeff, her husband, their children. Blended families, that's what life's about today, is blended families. And uh, they all need to be ready for the Lord and love Jesus. And we love them all. And don't forget Barbara and Jay's children, Stephen and Susan, and and uh, Eric and Jonathan and Peter Joseph, and uh, all of them. Susan and Stephen and Marianne and Crash Brander and little Benjamin out west, still uh, educating and learning, doing a great job. Miss them all. They're all busy into their own little worlds and doing their things and growing and being good citizens. Stephen up at Harvard, teaching, doing a great job. 275 to 75, coming up here. So I'm going to need to uh, make an exit here somewhere coming soon. Get over to 275 to go over to 747. To go see Miss Judy, Felty, and Don. And uh, Donnie and Ian, Ethan. Get confused there with Gerald's children and uh, Greg's and Todd's and Todd's. Oh, what a, what a beautiful family. Travel all over the place to have some of the most beautiful pictures you could ever see with Todd and Franny. Just absolutely beautiful and wonderful people. As all three children are wonderful in Gerald's family. And we miss Miss Cindy so, so much. Miss Cindy. Bless her heart. She is a special human being in all of our lives. Greg and Jerry out west and Tammy. Geez, I'm surprised with this virus I'm able to remember them all. If I forgot somebody, I apologize. But I am 77, going to be 78 September the 4th. And the virus robbed me of some of my memory. So I, uh, I ask forgiveness if I've forgotten someone or misquoted something or misnamed something. Because it happens. 
but I love you all and miss you. And we live at 38 McCollum Pike, Independence, Kentucky, and the front door is always open. East and west to 275. I'm going to go west here, folks. West to 275 and 75. And west I want to go. Was it Lord's? No. Nope. <laughs> Get me over to 747 and then up to Hamilton Mason Road, I think it is, or Mason Healy Road or something. I'm, my ultimate destination uh, is destination is Morris Road up in Ohio. So, Judy and Don's little cottage is there. Two of them nestled in about five acres of beautiful little land. Till their accidents, both Don and, and Judy both had accidents. Don on a horse accident, and with Judy it was an automobile accident. And these things happen. And they, I think of Soldier Farm, Don was an expert uh, horsemanship person, training and teaching and others how to ride and how to, how to uh, deal with horses. They had a great stable up there and a beautiful farm that they raised horses on, of all types. And all types are some different, unique cattle too. Long-haired cattle. But he's quite talented in the field of horses. Quite talented and quite well known in that field. And their wonderful daughter, Melissa, out in the west coast, somewhere out there, doing the computer work for all these automobile companies. And, and I think she's got about four children now. And uh, it's a beautiful family out there. And of course, Donnie, who's uh, down in West Virginia now, and uh, with uh, Ethan, who's doing quite well in school. Better get my mind on the road here now, folks. I went into Sharonville here. And uh, need to watch what I'm doing to find a right path to get to Miss Judy's house. Seven forty seven up here. Springdale Corporation Limits. We should be turning to our right up here at these next signs on 747 North. Well, it's a little bit the long way around, but we were in slow traffic, but not ridiculously slow. Not too many stops across the way, even coming through the cut of the hill. We were moving slowly, very slowly at times, but was slowly. Exit only, north 747. I always know I've got the right pathway when I see that 747, regardless of whether I'm coming east or west on 275. So we got a little ways to go here now. So pay attention to our driving, John. One thing nice about uh, this nice Toyota is that uh, you get little warning lights like that one down there right now. In other words, 19 miles to go <laughs> before you run out of gas. So stupid, find a Kroger gas station. <laughs> Here we are, folks. Hamilton Mason Road and 
Princeton and Glendale Road, Ron, 747. After stopping the gas, get gassed up at Kroger's. Said I had 19 miles left to go. I'm glad uh, Toyota thought about putting that little notice in there for people like me. I sure is glad to get that little notice, <laughs> among other things, that they have on this fine car. Toyota Sienna van. Two thousand and eighteen. It's got about thirty seven thousand miles on it. And I probably will be selling this to some lucky person shortly here. As our insurance comes due on in September on both cars. And uh, we think we're gonna go down to one vehicle and the other one would be probably the best one for us, size wise and everything with Miss June doing most of the driving, more than likely. Hamilton Mason Road. And we'll come to Morris Road over here is what we're looking for. couple of roundabouts down here, if I remember correctly. Beautiful little drive though, beautiful territory. A lot of nice people up here. I suppose some of them, like Don and Judy, originally from Kentucky. new construction going on up here too. Helms. Here comes one of those roundabouts right here I was telling you about. You gotta watch what you're doing here. Liberty Fairfield. Hamilton Mason Road takes you right around, gets the traffic keep flowing. Used to be a little grocery store up on the left up here. Used to stop at and get some soft drinks and things for a little picnic. See it right there, still is there. Johnson's, is it? Johnson's Deli. Yep. Well, we're almost here. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Love and prayer and heart and soul, faith and respect. For all of us, red, yellow, brown, black, and white, born and unborn, unique and diverse, police officers, first responders, teachers and students, soldiers, government officials. And don't forget to turn right here, Johnny, on Morris Road. Yep, here we are. Mars Road. Owners and workers. Preachers and priests. For they're all precious in Jesus' sight. I am mowing his lawn there. And right up here is Miss Judy's and Don's two little cottages. cottage where they live and the other cottage that they own where Donnie is still living I believe
Beautiful. And another beautiful little cottage. On about five acres of land. I'll have to give Miss Judy a call. See if she's home. <laughs>